All right, now to the weekends that we might all be having, watching yes. movies. Paul Hall, the Common Guys Film Review, is here this morning. Thanks for coming in. Welcome Thank back. You. We, yeah. We've got uh, a couple movies opening this weekend. One they didn't show me, which is The Sitter with Jonah Hill. There's probably a reason why they didn't show that to me. But there's another movie out called Valentine's, or not Valentine's Day. It's, it's kind of the follow-up to Valentine's Day called New Year's Eve. Okay. Because it is right. New Year's Eve, right? Right, it will yes. be, eventually. No, it's New Year's Eve today. Oh, uh, really? I, Works my for calendar's me. off. That means spring's tomorrow, but go on. So much like Valentine's Day, you've got a cast of everybody you know from Hollywood doing two-minute bits in the movie, on top mm -hmm. of okay. a couple big character, bigger media roles with people like Hilary Swank. Um, There's and, just bits inside of this thing? Yeah, it's like, so it's like about it 20 different stories that do somewhat link together. Much like Valentine's Day did, there's different stories and they end up at a lot of the same parties. Oh, it all takes place everybody. on New Year's Eve in New York. And so everybody ends up, or a lot of people end up in, you know, watching the ball drop. Other people end up watching the ball drop from other locations and other people end up at uh, different parties. So you've got John Bon Jovi, you've got Katherine Heigl, you've got... I you saw know, Sarah Jessica Parker. Sarah Jessica too. Parker, Josh Duhamel, wow. Halle Berry, Robert wow. De Niro. So it's big cast. Big cast. The problem with a big cast is you never get everyone what they want in the movie and you never get enough of everybody that you actually want to see in the oh, movie. Right. Much like Valentine's Day, this is one of those films that, well, guys are going to get dragged to. Yeah, what's not wrong the, with that? It's Paul? not the worst scenario because guys can get even come summer for some big action blockbuster that. But here's the deal: New Year's Eve, quite frankly, it's it's like casserole. It's a comfort food for a lot of people this time of year. Okay. It will have you in the mood for the holidays. It will get you there. Is it a good movie? N not at all. But quite <laughs> frankly, <laughs> there's going to be a lot of people that are going to go see it just like, like I said, because it's casserole. It's yeah. comfort food. Well, go where the popcorn is good and you won't be that disappointed. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Are yeah, there any on. other new releases in the movies theaters or is it all DVDs for yeah, this weekend? Yeah, you know, it's mainly DVDs. Last week, the Hollywood pretty much took the week off. It was one of the worst weeks ever for Hollywood uh, really? of the year because it's just, it, there was nothing new wide opening. Next right. couple weeks we'll see Mission Impossible, we'll see The Girl mm. with the Dragon Tattoo, we'll okay. see Sherlock Holmes, we'll okay. see uh, Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close, and all those films will make the end of the year a lot of fun. But DVD-wise, great stuff out this week. Okay. The Hangover Part 2 is not necessarily great stuff. It's basically The it's Hangover. Good stocking stuffer? The Hangover. Are these the stocking stuffers? Paul, be honest with us. Well, for different people. <laughs> like Cowboys and Aliens, let's Some say that's them. for the teens. They're going to okay. go see it. It kind of underwhelmed, but it was okay. The Help, I finally caught up with again last night. I won't admit to crying. I'm a film critic. I don't admit to these <laughs> things. But I had something in my eye for part of the film. Okay. And I had the sniffles. I think it was a cold. Oh, okay. Probably okay. so. Uh, the Hangover Part 2 is basically the Hangover insert Thailand instead of Las Vegas. It's the same jokes done okay. again. So if you like that. And Mr. Popper's Penguins for the kids. Another one they didn't show us, Jim Carrey. A lot of fun for, for the kids. And my daughter's looking for Born to it. Right. I've heard that that one was pretty good. I have not seen it myself. But explain to people again why you guys sometimes don't get to see the movies. Why Hollywood doesn't yeah. show the critics the movies. Sure. Sometimes studios don't want movies seen by the critics because they're afraid of what we might say. Maybe I'll say something bad. Maybe I won't. But they don't. They're not as confident in the film. Other times it's just a matter of, of timing. They don't want to play in Milwaukee. They don't want to go to Milwaukee critics and maybe LA critics got to look at it. But we didn't. Um, so it's different, and this time of year, everybody's garnering for attention because I'm filling out my Critics' Choice Movie Awards ballot. Um, Gino Salamone, who I know Kevin knows here in town as well as a member, Dwayne Dudek and Justin Earl and a couple others, we're working hard. The announcement, the nominations come out next week, so I've seen probably 30 films this week about, wow. and I think I was mentioned to you before that we went on, many I can't talk about. I won't say I saw the movie with a tattoo in it. I won't say it. <laughs> Or the movie with the Twin Towers and Extremely Loud and... and I won't say I saw it or if I liked it, but I, I had a lot of those instances this week where... Really? Something was really? in So why won't you eye? say anything Movies about... that you won't say and things. Yeah. Yeah, there's certain times where the studios just don't want us to talk about them. So until, they embargo yeah. your opinion is exactly. really what they Exactly. Do. The opinion's out there and in putting together the ballot, I need to know who's going to be in the best picture category. Maybe those two films I talked about. Um, I need to know who's going to be in some of the acting categories question. and whatnot. I have always wondered, how do films that make it in right before the ball drops end up nominated for the year? Because we've seen them. We've, we've seen, seen, we've seen early. I've seen just about everything by now. It may not open. For instance, let's t talk extremely loud and incredibly fair. close. It doesn't I mean, open until January. Don't they want to know our opinion? Don't they want to know ticket sales? Or they know. just want to know they're, your They're opinion. hoping that nomination will give you that opinion and help you to get out and see it. So right. January, for instance, 20th, I believe, is when extremely loud and incredibly close opens here in Milwaukee. Right. Okay. It will open L.A., New York, 
before that. So it'll open for academy consideration. We've already seen it, and therefore we can make an opinion as far as where it's going to end up on our best list. I think it's but just you so can't weird tell us. I think it's so weird how they Not embargo yet. your opinion because what if you went outside of that and gave your opinion? You would be cut off. You, you could be, and, and you know oh, I'm a small Hollywood. guy from a small market. It's uh, you don't want to be cut off from that. So yeah, no, I'm, I'm not going to step outside that. I will say that I've seen certain things, but I, I'm not going to tell you what. Well, I'm you like blink one eye if you liked it or not. <laughs> My nomination ballots doing this weekend. <laughs> Nominations come out Tuesday. I'll admit to certain films that I saw this week, including maybe that tattooed movie ending up on my list. That's all I'm going to say. That's all you're going to say. That's all I'm going to say. All we'll right. talk more about it in a couple well, of weeks. But we don't want you shut down because we love it when you come and tell us what we should be watching. Yeah. There's a lot of good things to watch. Yeah. I mean, uh, The Help is a perfect example of a yeah. movie I missed this summer, and a lot of people went and saw it. It's fabulous. It's a great lesson for kids to see the attitudes of people in different parts yeah. of the country and at different times. We it are, was we painful, moved ahead, which is incredibly good. frustrating to me, but it was a good movie. Yes. It made me very oh, angry. Absolutely. Yes. And I, I think and if I you don't get angry go at it. certain points yeah. in that movie, it's I don't think you... The was just... Yeah. Yes, it was. Exactly. Well, I agree. But it's a good movie. Yeah. Absolutely. Thanks, Paul. Thanks. Appreciate it. Okay, we have you ever tried to look up something on the internet only to find stuff from like 1997 and dead links? There's a new company that is changing the way that we learn on the web. We are explaining mentormob.com after the break. Sounds good.